Hey folks, it's Grimwit from Natch Evil and I can't sleep. I can't sleep. It's not funny anymore. So I'm playing a good one, but a long one. The moon. I want to see the moon. This is called Knit on the Moon. Uh. Yeah, okay, rocket. Whatever. I'm on the moon. Well. So, sort of. So. We have long jump, we have climb, we have run. And that's all we, we will ever have. Well, no, that's not true. We'll have one more power up. This knit level is kind of unique. It's got some nice tiles to it. And this is what you would call a maze knit level. Nice nice there. Long neck. These moon critters have long necks. <sighs> anyway. The, um... It's pretty cool. It's all about uh, mooniness and stuff. And I guess the nits have already established a moon base on the moon, as opposed to a moon base on Mars. Um, this doesn't seem like a maze now, but wait for it. We'll, we'll eventually get to the moon. I mean, the inside of the moon. Did I mention I was tired? Okay, that's the... Is it cool? Oh, oh, it's a teleporter. All right. Ah, that would be the only other power-up we get. Well, we get it early. Without it, we cannot get any of the keys. Whoa. <laughs> as, uh... That, that was weird. Uh, as we all know... Save. The, um... Most knit levels, if not all knit levels, require four keys, and we will need four keys here. Uh. Okay. Boom. Welcome back, Junie. Are you already here? Y yes, I took a shortcut. What makes this nice is this level has multiple endings, but as an ending, it's kind of more annoying than just dying by falling off the level. Because when you fall off the level here, you get that ending, which I think is just called the, uh, the bad ending or the quick ending, I don't know. This game has multiple endings. <laughs> huh? Need a red key. And, um, the multiple endings are, um, I think there's four of them. I find three. Something like that. I'm missing one ending. I can never find that one ending. So, um, I'll show you all the endings I can. And I may return to give you the last ending. Ooh, here we go. Okay, now it's maziness is starting to show through. And it's fit with some interesting traps, but uh, we'll, we'll get to all of those in time. This isn't a long level. It's not very big. It's well, I guess it is a long level, kind of. But it's not very big. Because it's basically, uh, you master the moon. Master the moon. Let's see what's over here. It is to your advantage a lot of the times to just kind of jump off into nothingness and see what's there. I need a purple key to get that red key. Typical. And, um... Yeah, there's a lot of times where it's useful to do that. And you, you find some interesting stuff sometimes. People will make, uh... Make blind jumps a necessity. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. Oh, that's a silly little face. And here's a door. Yep. Alright. Here's one of those blind jumps, like I said. It's not... What, what was that blink? Oh, well. Oh, uh, let's jump up here and save. Now, um... This is one of, I think, three or four rooms in the moon. Usually the moon is just straight up. So, let's see. I guess this is the second one. The first one was to get the red key. That was to get the blue key. Let's keep track. Hey, little smiley face with, with teeth. Cute. The edges of this uh, world are nice and smooth. The uh, the guy took his time to make sure that all the pieces fit together nice, and, nice and even. Uh, I can't use that. Damn it. Ah, blind jump. Let's do it. Okay, we're good. Ah, um, we have apparently found the bath place of these critters. Whew. All right then. Well, let's try another blind jump. Okay, that wasn't a blind jump. That was a stupid jump. So, what else are we missing in this maze? There's one part of this maze that really is hard for me to remember how to get to. And it's the yellow room. I, I would call it maybe... Oh yeah, that was the third room, wasn't it? The little bathing moon critter room. Okay, so it'll call it the fourth room. Oh, whatever. Oh, I beg my pardon. On the moon, nits can fly. It's time you knew. Can't quite figure it out. Nope, that requires a yellow key. Now, you may have already noticed the sound is starting to desync. I apologize. This is... You know what? I don't know what caused it. <laughs> um... Something with Hypercam. I'm still getting used to this software. Oh, no, can't go there. <laughs> this is so weird. Huh. I'm like... Just a couple seconds off. But the music's nice, so there's that. Hmm. Can't climb these chains. That's, that's kind of weird. Whoa! Alright. What? No. No, no, no. We're not we're not doing this. It's just a normal gate. Uh. Stars are your home now, Junie. Okay, so that happened. Let's load the game and get started again. <laughs> I don't know. What, what was that? The second ending that we've seen? And the sound is back synced again. Because Hypercam is nothing if not inconsistent. I don't know. I must have done something wrong. I, I don't actually know. Because I did play with the settings a little bit before I started recording this. Okay. These are unclimbable, so I can't do anything with those. The chains are unclimbable, so we can check out a little bit over here. Uh, nothing up here. Anything over here? 
Because blind jump. Nope, there's nothing over there. Alright. Well, we'll skip ahead and we're going to see one of the other endings. This one, which is a trap ending. Uh oh. Oh. My home. Juni, what the hell is this? Just, just a souvenir. I slept on the moon today. <laughs> okay, and at this point, the sound desynced. Whoops. <laughs> the sound desynced to such a level that I just rooted around in the level data for the music and <laughs> added it instead. It was so bad, it would have been really annoying. So, no sound effects. Now, this is the cheese room. This is, what, the fifth? Fourth room? I don't know. It's hard to keep track when you can't keep your eyes open. <sighs> We're closed. Um, yellow key. Have you noticed yet? Yellow key, yellow room. Blue key, blue room. Sure enough, that room that we were in where you need the purple key to grab the red key was indeed a red room. And later, of course, when we, when we find the purple key, it will be in a purple room. There's a symmetry. So let's skip ahead a little bit. And this is the purple room. It requires two keys. Why not? This is also, well, it's not a hard room to find, but uh, it, it is kind of, it does turn you around a little bit. I think we found it earlier. We did. There we go. And skip ahead again to the red key in the red room. Whoop. This is like the easiest key to get. It's kind of disappointing. All right. This was where we were at the very beginning with the red door, and our trouble is to get an umbrella. Now this is known as the good ending. And we're going to stop it here, because I'm too tired. Yep, floating down to Earth. Hello, Earth. I have come to float down to you. Whee! So peaceful. I'm back. Thanks for playing. <sighs> Good night, everyone.